right, ladies and gentlemen, on deck is Joe Yoga. On double deck is Roman. Right now, please welcome the great Eric Clark. Yeah. So I just found out that the uh, theme was ten years ago. So this was a app. This is uh, this is from a book that was uh, written. Well, sorry, ten years ago called Disease and Eternity. And that's what this is from. And it's 10 years old. See, I hit the thing. <laughs> trip over that sooner or later. <laughs> The first thing I had to accept was that I was ugly. Women would never fall at my feet. Love would never be mine. If ever there was a man trapped in the consequences of destiny, say that I am that man. In my mind, there are symphonies, but only there. It's all in my head, and it'll never come out, no matter the white candles in prayer. I am the ape they taught to read Shakespeare and Beckett and Joyce, and still I sit on my haunches, hostile, suspicious, ready to fight or flee, and I respond to inane questioning and irrelevant small talk with the disgusted grunts of my fathers. I am believing in nothing so much as my own desperation. I have learned you can read Emerson for six weeks and forget it all in a day. <laughs> Admitting to the utter hopelessness is easy. My failure to capitalize on opportunities, my squandering of streaks of good luck, the absurd absence of any prospect for change, the desperation and the struggle. It's a compelling story. <laughs> Broken hearts mean nothing to me, except an immense sense of failure, a feeling that that which was in my hand has slipped away and is never to return. So how long must I live with these diseases of conscience? I mean, I'm ready for the miracle, the parting, the walking, the bread, the wine, the nails, the rising. To face all, to face the worst, to kneel in humble despair and say, how much worse, how much longer, how much lower? I cannot pray any harder, I cannot bow any lower. If I am not now abandoned to the will of God, what, was, what must one do? to achieve such a seemingly simple state of mind. And where is God in the real world except a ghost of Christmas past dragged out when times are tough? The truth is there is no such thing as truth. The earth is flat. People fall off the edge and disappear every day. These constructions cannot last. These paths we've dug and temples erected, these machines we've designed to think for us, and what does a man of God have to strike fear in the hearts of the beasts? If a three-inch round tubing of blue neon were shoved up his ass, he could not already be more illuminated. <laughs> we are but dumb animals, regardless of perfect teeth, in spite of sensuous limbs, no matter that we call it making love. We all want to possess beauty. I am no different than the rest. I like to fall in love what it's there for. Unsaid <laughs> <laughs> by you believe anything you want. The difficulty I am having in living is not uncommon. I am not extraordinary by any means. But life is luck. Life is chance. Life is right place at the right time. Life is one good break in knowing what to do with it. And life is the feeling of a broken mind. The involuntary twitching of the hand. The fear that time is running out and nothing is being done. That life is but one moment. And I stood there, mouth open, about to speak. What did I call this yesterday? Disintegration, yes, but that's not it. I want to try to understand what is going on. I think that's an important first step. My God, but life is devastating. The floors are uneven and the windows are barred. Sometimes the other humans don't like you. Sometimes the other humans aren't nice. 
The glass should not be half empty at 345 in the afternoon. It should just be getting filled. <laughs> So what can one make of these days? All I have now is the summing up of life, the attempt to reason life out, the last belief and the last flowering of what you came to call your purpose. I'm suffering some form of dementia, head swishing round like water in a coffee pot you're rinsing out. I'm penetrating a fantasy so that when I die I am somebody else. I'm sure I'm in need of some form of medical attention, even if it's only someone to lock the door. <laughs> <laughs> I have the goods. I'm not going to attempt to tell you how it is. You know as well as I how it is. You must always be reforming your idea of beauty. As in poetry, so in life. As in life, so in poetry. Minimal. Nothing to spare. I like falling in love, that's what it's there for. Yeah.